cutting some sandpaper and getting things ready here. Just made a simple jig. This is um, an improvement over my old one and um, what it was my old one was a hacksaw blade mounted on the side of the plywood and then you tore the sheet over the over the hacksaw blade. So you end up with an edge like this instead of a cut edge like this. And having this torn edge like this has gotten me uh, into trouble many times. So I've decided to change what I'm doing and do it this way. So simple jig, three quarter inch plywood, half inch plywood, just junk I had laying around. Uh, this measure is about uh, uh, 14 by, I don't know, what is that? 14 by six and a half, and, and then the fence. So all I'm doing is, uh, this is seven sheets of paper, 150. Load them in here, kind of center them up. Take a piece of half inch plywood. And that's one change I've made already. I had a piece of three quarter and it's too tall. Uh, you can't lay your blade down uh, as far as you'd like. And the, and the other thing is be ready to go through some blades because that sandpaper is going to chew them up. I'm already on my second edge here. But you know, pretty simple. Just cut it down the, down the line. And once you get a couple of sheets cut, you know, get them out of your way. Nice clean edge. Perfectly sized. 14 pieces there. Took little little to no time at all. And I'm all set to to go for a while for 150 half sheet pieces of paper. So that's my half sheet um, piece and then this is my quarter sheet for this sander here to go this way. So whatever size you want, just cut your cut your board that width, and you're you're good to go. Uh, that's it for me. That's the two sizes I'll be using primarily. So I'll, that's all I'm going to cut up for now. But you can also cut whatever width you want. You know, if you just want some strips, some one-inch strips. You know, just lay them in here and trim it to whatever you want. So, pretty pretty easy and easy to make and easy to do. Well, one last tip. When you're cutting these, some of the grits are going to be cut off, you know, the manufactured number that they print on the back of the paper is going to be removed. So, just I've, I've just taken a Sharpie and Whenever that happens, put that on there to remind me what I got, or what I have. Now that says 180 up there. But... Yeah, there. So now they're all marked. There won't be any confusion. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.